Hey guys, this is Ashwin here. In this video, we are going to see about uh, movie recommendation engine. So I have gathered IMDb movie data set. We are going to recommend uh, movies based on the plot description and genre. So this is a uh, content based re recommendation engine. So I will just add it here in the data set information itself. So content based filtering. So this is the technique we are going to use content based uh, filtering based on the content uh, description or uh, you can able to use this uh, similar approach for uh, product uh, data. If you want to recommend some products based on the description means you can able to use this uh, whole pipeline. So instead of uh, going for uh, users based on a past behavior that is so that is called a collaborative filtering uh, based on the past data and uh, similar uh, items we will uh, try to recommend uh, some movies uh, to the user most of the time uh, this Netflix and other uh, popular companies uh, uses this approach. So here we are going to see a different approach. That's why I just choose this project. We will cover a different part uh, for the recommendation engine. So if you didn't see the recommendation engine for songs means uh, click on the right top corner. You can able to see a different approach there. So in that uh, project, I will be using uh, user information and uh, try to recommend uh, user some particular uh, song. So that's how the project pipeline goes. Here uh, it will be completely uh, different. So let's dive into the project. So for this project, I'm going to use uh, IMDb data set. Uh, that is the top 250 uh, movies with the title, author and plot. Everything will be there. So this data set information is collected from IMDb and it also includes some television series. Movie IDs to help gather much data from one or two Kaggle projects. I think this is like a combined uh, data set. So there is a workflow from original cobbled together spreadsheet to the final product with uh, 27 variables. So we are going to have uh, 27 variables and 5000 uh, observations because uh, it is like a combined uh, data set. That's why and uh, we are going to use content based filtering method. So let's uh, import the modules and uh, load the data set. So import modules. I will leave some space. Anyway, we are going to do some uh, processing here. Now I will uh, import some basic modules. So import pandas as pd, import numpy, as NP. So for pre-processing and to process the natural language, uh, we have to import uh, rejects that is RE and uh, import NLTK. So that is uh, natural language toolkit. If you didn't uh, download it means you can able to use pip install NLTK to install this uh, library. Let's run this now. So this modules will be imported. After that, uh, we have to load the data set. So data frame equals pd dot read underscore csv. We have to specify the data set. Let's see. IMDB, OMDB, Kaggle data set. Now let's display it. Yes, we have got the data set. It is uh, showing all the information, but uh, the columns are compressed. So we have to set some uh, parameter. So PD dot set option. So here display dot max columns. I'll set it as none. So that is no limit. Again. Yeah, now we can able to scroll through the data set. So this is some uh, known IDs. We have a title. Uh, I'll just mention what all the attributes we are going to use. So we are going to use title, genre, director, writer, actors, plot. So plot is considered as like a description of the movie. So if you want to use a product uh, recommendation engine means uh, you can able to use the description. So we will be using uh, much of the pre-processing uh, for this plot. And uh, 
awards poster ratings and scores ratings values so when we are uh, using some uh, popularity recommendation engine means we can able to use this uh, rating and get a score and we can also use this votes and these are all some other attributes some of null attributes are there i think that's it uh, these are the useful information we can able to get until the plot uh, we are going to use the data so first uh, we will process this uh, plot data that is like a paragraph or uh, some sentences will be there maybe let's uh, display uh, what is the plot so df of plot of zero so it's like a single line so we can able to use this uh, single line we have to pre process uh, this data i am going to store it in in like a list and we can able to combine it uh, with a data frame so i will say uh, clean plot equals df of plot so we are getting the data and converting into lower case so lower so this will convert into lower case and after that uh, we will use regex to do the pre processing maybe i will just mention here we are doing data pre processing data pre processing okay instead of using a clean plot variable i will just uh, create a column itself clean plot so maybe we can able to display the clean plot clean so if you run this uh, you are uh, facing an error so you have to convert it into a string function so str dot lower yeah it lowered uh, all the sentences so in, apart from that uh, we have to use some uh, regex so for that df of clean plot equals df of clean plot dot apply and here i will create a lambda function lambda x here i am going to specify the regular expression so re dot sub i have to specify the pattern so here the pattern will be a to z and uh, capital a to z, capital z i'm going to replace with the uh, space so what i'm doing this apart from characters i'm going to replace all the other things with a space so this comma will be replaced by a space like that it will work so after that we have to pass the input that is x now you can able to see there is some uh, commas are there so here also we have apostrophe few punctuations are there we will remove that now you can able to see all the punctuations has been removed and we have some additional spaces here so you can also replace it with the uh, empty string but it's changing the entire sentence like this so we will change it back now we have to uh, replace this additional uh, spaces into a single space for that we will uh, use the same regex with a different pattern now here i am going to change only the pattern so that will be backslash s yes plus let's run this now i think it's uh, okay uh, we have uh, replaced uh, some of the spaces into a single space so it's good to go now so after this uh, let's tokenize the sentence into a list of words and after that we have to remove uh, stop words so we have to do this things so i will do it in a separate cell now we will uh, tokenize the sentence tokenize the sentence and here
convert lower case and remove numbers punctuations spaces etc so that's done now let's try to tokenize the sentence so df of clean pot equals again df of clean plot dot apply lambda x now we are going to use nltk dot word tokenize so we are going to tokenize it by word so x now here we will try to display the result now you can able to see right uh, we have uh, tokenized all the sentences into uh, individual words now after this we have to remove some of the stop words like this uh, yes to the of like this we have to remove all the unnecessary uh, repeated words so remove stop words before that we have to get the stop words right so i will say stop words equals nltk dot corpus dot stop words dot words and here okay i think this is o now here i will specify it as english we are processing in english maybe let's display the stop words see you can able to see all the words uh, in a list so we will remove all these things so i will create a temporary list to process uh, these words so i will say for sentence in df of clean plot now i will get a list of words in this variable so i will process each word so for word in sentence now if word not in stop words stop words or len of word is less than 3 because uh, we have this yes and uh, some other characters are there right a yes we have to remove that also that's why i just uh, specify this condition so usually if it's less than 3 uh, means it is uh, definitely a punctuation so if either of this condition is true means okay then we have to use it like greater if words not in stop words and a line of words is greater than or equal to 3 then i will accept the word so for this i have to make another uh, temporary list so maybe i will say temp here here i will say plot is a variable now temp dot append word if it is satisfies the condition now finally we will append that to the plot plot dot append temp so this will uh, process everything and inside the plot we will have list of values now you can able to see all the list of values are uh, there in the plot and uh, we have removed uh, some of the stop words see before uh, a yes and everything was there but now it is somewhat meaningful now we will uh, try to copy this uh, plot list in the data frame with the clean plot equals plot let's also display that to check it once now we have all the list with the important words okay that's done so i'm just going in uh, step by step because uh, you have to understand uh, what is happening inside uh, without that uh, if we go through only the syntax means uh, it's uh, useless so that's why i'm just going in uh, step by step so you can able to see what's happening inside 
and you can also apply these uh, techniques in some other project as well so we have done it for uh, clean plot right now if we display the data we still have few attributes so that is head now we have to get this title genre director writer we also have to pre-process uh, this information so for title it is just a string so we don't have to do anything on that so for these things uh, director actors we will uh, we have to do some pre-processing because uh, it has some comma comma values are there so we have to do that now df of genre equals again we have to use the same thing dot apply lambda instead of apply you can also use map so both are same x colon x dot split and just splitting it by comma so here comma is there sorry that is a dot so comma similarly uh, we will do the same thing for uh, actors and for the director, I don't know whether uh, they have multiple uh, directors. So in the actors also, I will get the top four uh, roles. So we don't have, we don't need to get all the cast information in order to include into the movie. So I will just copy this because the syntax will be the same. Again, we are going to split it by comma, but I will get the top four actor and this is actors this is also actors so for director also I will do the same thing if it's not if it's like a single director means here we have only a uh, one value if that is the case means we will have a list with a single value so this will be director and the same here so this will do all the things let's run this let's display uh, one attribute so df of actors of 0 see we have uh, four actors information now here also we have to convert these cases into lowercase and do the pre-processing like we have done before and as you can able to see we also have some additional spaces so we have to do some pre-processing let's do that now so first uh, we will do it for uh, genre so df of genre equals I will have a list so I will use a for loop to iterate first so for x in df of genre now in the x I'm going to process it like uh, x dot lower this is a string right so I'm just directly using the function x dot lower and after that I will just replace the empty uh, space so empty space I'm just deleting that space so this will do that and I'm going to do the same thing for uh, remaining two attributes So actors and director let's run this okay list attribute is no lower okay currently X is uh, list so we have to do the pre-processing correspondingly maybe I will just create a function uh, I will call it as clean because for this process I have to do like that because it is already uh, in list so I will pass x that is a list of uh, words now for word in x or I will say sentence here I will call the sentence a word in sentence so I will do this operation 
so x here and place the word here word dot lower dot replace and uh, I have to make a temporary list here so temp equals a list now I will say temp dot append and return the temp that list so I will call clean of x similarly I will do this for all the other attributes so it will do the processing for us and it is simple as that run this function once and run this again now let's check an attribute of 0 now we don't see any spaces maybe we will just use the actors itself now you can able to see right uh, we are not seeing any spaces this is just a complete name and uh, we are not seeing any spaces here these additional spaces are removed and it is good to go so all these things are done now I have to combine all these uh, pre-processed texts into a single list and uh, add it into a data frame now I will define the columns we have to combine so columns equals clean plot that is the pre-processed one and uh, here we have genre actors and uh, directors let's quickly mention it so we are not uh, considering the title for the feature extraction so here I will create a list and uh, in this list for column in columns it's all in the data frame right I'm going to process so I'm going to process this so in now I am going to access each of the columns uh, with the help of uh, index uh, we are not uh, changed any index till now so this will be the outer for loop so for i in range of len of df and for column in columns so I will say words equals a string and now words plus equals space join of df of column and uh, the index plus another space so this is also I will just mark it as single quotes we are just following the same format so I'm just uh, concatenating uh, these individual uh, words into a complete string so that is uh, used for feature extraction we are uh, going to combine uh, four columns right that's why I am just adding additional space here and after that I will add that words up and word here and I will see the list so I just missed a word here now you can able to see uh, it is a list of uh, see this is the first row we have all the things we have the plot and uh, we have the genre the director and the cast everything is concatenated in a single string now this is the input we are going to use so I will just use the L into a data frame so df of clean instead of clean plot I will say clean input clean input equals L and after that I will just get the title and this clean input into this data frame so df equals df of list again a list title and uh, this clean input so clean input 
now let's display the head now we have the title and the input we are going to process so until now we just uh, process the data as I already mentioned in uh, many videos this data processing step is very important depends on the quality of the data your result will be much better so far we have done so many things for the pre-processing so here combining all the column data and here we have removed a stop words and everything is done now let's go for the feature extraction for this I'm going to use uh, TF IDF uh, vectors so let's import that before that we will mention this as a feature extraction feature extraction now from sk learn dot feature extraction dot text text import tf idf vectorizer so this is the vectorizer we are going to use you can also use count vectorizer that is here this count vectorizer you can use both and check the results how it's performing and you can also make a comment uh, which is performing uh, well for this data set now let's do the feature extraction so I will define it as tfidf equals tfidf vectorizer I'm going to use default uh, parameters here now here I'm going to mention features equals tf idf dot fit transform fit transform I'm just going to pass this clean input so df of clean input so this will extract all our features after this uh, we have to create a similarity matrix create cosine similarity matrix so here uh, we have extracted the features so I will uh, import the module for that for calculating the cosine similarity so from sklearn dot matrix dot pairwise import cosine similarity so using this module we are going to calculate the similarity between the words so if some movie plot is similar to other movie plot means uh, we will have a higher score that is the similarity score based on this course only we are going to recommend the mo movies now cosine similarity equals similarity equals cosine similarity okay both are same name so we will say cosine sim itself now cosine similarity of we will pass the features and uh, we will try to display the cosine similarity so we will see what is uh, inside now we have got a list of uh, numbers uh, in kind of a two dimensional uh, matrix so we are going to use this matrix representation in order to recommend the movies so for that we have to define the functions so here I will see movie recommendation so before that I will uh, have to get the indices for this title so index equals pd dot series of df of title so if you see 
now we have the index data frame corresponding to this index uh, we have the title we will be using that maybe I will just display the first five now we will uh, create the function def recommend movies now I am going to uh, get a title as the argument and uh, the cosine similarity that is the matrix cosine ok let's go similarity now inside it uh, we have to uh, create a list that is the list of movies we are going to recommend now we have to get the index list of that uh, particular uh, movie so I will say idx equals index of index equals title dot index of 0 so this will give you the corresponding uh, index so if I consider here so this is cosine similarity so here if I say the dark knight rises the index is 3 so why I am doing this is so based on the index we will get the similarity matrix representation and after that we are going to do the calculation so maybe I will just uh, print the index here so we can able to see it later and we will uh, comment it out afterwards now we have to calculate the similarity scores so I will say score equals pd dot series cosine similarity of that index dot sort values sort values okay this will be outside sort values ascending ascending equals false I'm just uh, sorting in uh, descending order so higher the score is uh, higher the score represents the top movie we can able to recommend so we will have a score in terms of a data frame and after that uh, we have to get the top 10 index of that uh, particular score so I will say top 10 equals list of score dot i log that is uh, index locator I'll say if 1 to 11 dot index so this is also we will uh, see it as separate so print top 10 so we can able to see what's happening now we have to uh, add the movies to the list here based on the index we got here now for i in top 10 movies dot append df of okay title of that index now we will return the movies run this now we have to recommend something so I will recommend we have to copy the text as it is so paste it here run this oh this is recommend movies let's run this again we are missing the matrix uh, we can pass it or uh, we can just remove this for now let's run this so from the list uh, we have got a uh, few things so as I already mentioned first I'm just getting the index here as you can able to see the index is 3 and here also the index is 3 maybe we will just uh, see what's happening inside so I have to mention the title right I will just say the dark knight rises 
if you run it means it will give you a uh, that particular uh, list and uh, if I say dot index of zero it will just give you that number so that is this uh, index and after that we are getting the scores here so I will also copy this and paste it here index is 3 right so I will say 3 run this so these are the scores we have so these are the total scores and the top score is 1 so uh, we are just uh, ignoring that one here and uh, get the next 10 here and we will just getting this index so here we are just getting this index and based on the index we are recommending it here we can also display the scores uh, correspondingly if we uh, convert these uh, movies into a data frame but we don't need to do it now so let's comment these print statements and run it once again so this is the recommend movies let's uh, consider some other movie let's consider avatar okay I have to call the function I will just type it avatar now here also we have uh, some of the recommended uh, movies based on the plot maybe let's uh, go for this Avengers okay each time I have to copy and paste this now you can able to see uh, here uh, it's uh, displaying some Marvel movies at the top like Avengers Age of Ultron that is related to this and uh, Captain America Civil War and uh, other uh, similar movies are also there here so these movies are recommended based on the plot the directors and the cast everything is included uh, based on that only it's just uh, recommending these movies and this is our uh, recommendation uh, engine so what is our total length of the data set so this data set contains only 24 movies so that is uh, pretty much low maybe wa what I will do is I will just uh, replace it with uh, another data set which has uh, more number of movies and uh, resume it quickly we just have to run all the cells uh, again to see so now I have downloaded another data set so I'm just doing the project in real time that's why I didn't uh, see how many movies are there so I will just load this data set so it is almost uh, similar to it before that let's uh, check the length so here we have 250 movies that is uh, reasonable so all the things will be same the same pre-processing tokenization stop words the clean plot head all the pre-processing will be similar so I will just uh, run it quickly now we have the cosine similarity now again we have to convert this now let's uh, recommend for Dark Knight Rises now here we have more number of movies that's why uh, we are having uh, similar movies like uh, The Dark Knight, Batman Begins so the top two recommendations are, uh, clo are much more similar to the movie this is like a follow up series and uh, let's do it for another thing so this is the index and the cosine similarity I think avatar also will be there so these are the scores okay avatar is not there let's see about avengers so in avengers also we are uh, seeing guardians of galaxy martians other things are there i think uh, here we don't have that uh, avengers age of ultron and other uh, things maybe this is uh, we can consider all the things are uh, marvel movies maybe for here we will consider another uh, Shawshank Redemption 
so let's place it here and uh, run this and we have completely uh, different recommendations for this movie so I didn't see a lot of movies here but I think the recommendations are similar based on the top two recommendation itself here I can able to get uh, our recommendation engine is performing uh, much better so that's it guys so this is how the recommendation works for um, many sites for products for songs for uh, movies everything is uh, works if you don't have any past data means it will automatically suggest if you just watch this dark knight rises movies means it will automatically suggest based on the context it's not uh, seeing about uh, past information or anything we are just uh, seeing the plot or uh, other uh, contextual data of that particular movie and we are trying to uh, recommend uh, similar movies if it is uh, related to action movie or adventure movie we will uh, recommend based on that particular category that's how the whole thing works and i also mentioned each and every step uh, i think uh, this will be helpful to you and yes i think we have completed our project successfully so if you like this video give a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe the channel for more videos like this and if you want to help the channel you can able to share this video to your friends and uh, colleagues if it is helpful and this will be helpful for me and i will see you guys in the next video